it is Manchester United 4 Liverpool 1 Manchester United knocking out Liverpool knocking off those scousers you know to advance to the semi-finals of the FA Cup what a game it was for the neutrals what a game for us for those Manchester United fans although Manchester United played shit throughout the whole game but moments is what brought us back into this game and allowing us to win this game and i'm so happy to go through another game i have to say that performance wise uh, when are we ever going to play some good football and sustain and control again so sustain and control again sorry guys i had to burp there but when are we going to do that it is so annoying but only for the neutrals i i, I have to say wow what a game what a game, guys. What an absolute incredible game. He, the, he showed that little boy tearing and crying at the end. I was in shock. I was in scream. I cried like a little girl. What a dramatic game for the neutrals and for, for the Manchester United fans. And, and, uh, against Liverpool, your rivals, it couldn't get any even better, any sweeter. To be honest with you and let's go straight into that game because there was so much to unfold so much to talk about in today's game oh let's start off with the first 45 minutes because manchester united as usual starting off really well showing themselves what they made up for the first 10 minutes to to huff and puff throughout the rest of the game manchester united scoring the first goal coming from scott mctominay across i mean a shot from alejandro granacho of a save from kelly that deflected going to the balls the pathway of scott mctominay to stick his toe in to make it one nil to us and it was a good start for manchester united right there but then liverpool going strong and manchester united's midfield was just open they were opening us so many times and so many opportunities. And Liverpool finally got that equaliser. And that equaliser coming from McAllister. McAllister scoring f uh, from Quincy's cut back. And it was a, a lovely cut back as well. And a little slight deflection coming off of Kelby Mino and Ande Andre Onana. Couldn't do jack shit. Liverpool making it 2-1. To just to piss us off even more before it's, before it's half time. Mohamed Salah scoring that goal and the seller keeps scoring against us he doesn't give a shit making it 2-1 for liverpool and we was in despair we was angry half time 2-1 to liverpool i'm pissed off Manchester United fans are pissed off we're like what the hell is going on with this team again another big game are we going to lose to our rivals second half starts we're hoping for that equalizer and Manchester United in the second half was piss poor throughout you know we was lucky to even equalize during the dying seconds anthony himself who came on and with with the manager making so many changes and anthony being one of them anthony proving himself by equalizing that goal of course a lot of nonsense came and anthony got the ball and scrambled it in to find that way in to make it 2-2 for Manchester United to take it into extra time extra time was good for the neutrals because a goal came from Elliot. Elliot from the distance taking a shot. And Andre Onana, and I know it took deflection. It took a deflection, but Andre Onana, really, bro? Can you not save anything? But Onana had a good game. Onana had a good game, regardless of the amount of goals he conceded. And then it was 3 2, and it was just like this Rashford, McTominay. McTominay getting the ball back from Liverpool from their mistake, winning the ball back. And then McTominay feeding into Rashford. Rashford finishing it off, making it 3 3. And I was like, yes, maybe we can come back. We still got dying seconds of extra time. And on the counter attack, the ball's being won back. Alejandro Gonacho with the support of Ahmed. Gonacho running forward, going forward on that transitional counter attack. Slipping the ball to Ahmed Diallo. And Ahmed Diallo does what he does best. Already on the yellow card. He slots it in. He makes it 4-3 three, for three, four Manchester United. Takes off his top off like he's messy. Shows his name to the fans. To only to get, get that yellow second yellow card to get sent up. You cruel referee. You guys are so cruel. That reminds me of Ivory Coast game, you know, against Mali, you know, and uh, Diakate with that winning goal. But Ahmed, it's only true, it's only in the Ivory Bloods that we do that we want a yellow card to get sent off. But Manchester United winning that final 
scoring that final goal, winning the game in dramatic fashion, it, it's beautiful. It's what the fans, <laughs> Alex Ferguson said it the most, huh, football, hey? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And United have to count themselves lucky for, for winning that game because Liverpool were far better tied. Be, I'll be very honest with you guys. Liverpool were the better team throughout that whole game, but we we done what we had to do, you know. Big up to those. And in terms of players today, I thought Scott McTominay, even though he scored his goal, got his assist, done nothing. But allowed our midfield to be violated and touched and open. Diego Dalla had a magnificent game. Kobe Mainu. Dalla man the match as well in the, in, in the first half. Mainu had a good 35 minutes, but then faded out towards the game. And Rashford did get that goal, but he was horrible. He got that goal, but horrible. And Bruno Fernandes, I'm tired of you, man. Mount came coming back. I didn't see much of him. Man the match today, I'm going to have to go for, of course... I think I'm going to go for Dalot today because I think he's just he's a monster. Interceptions and everything, he's just a monster. man. Big up to him as well, man. Um, don't give the match today. I, I can't give a don't give the match, man. It was a dramatic comeback, dramatic win. Big up to the boys who did it, man. Guys, let me know who was your man in the match in the comments. And your don't give the match in the comments as well. This has been your match reaction. Manchester United fans, we got another tough game. I think it's International Week. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Let's just do this. We've got, we've got Chelsea to play in the semi-finals. Let's hope we can knock them out, guys. Let me know. As always, guys, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready now because your boy is out. we see you tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time for the catch-up with Amanda. It's been your boy, Everyone Spice. I'm out. Peace! Peace!